at the rhythm of the sun. Well, I was wide awake until the dawn upon her face and the echoes of our song as it hummed along. So stay with me, stay with me. You are my missing piece. So, sometimes when I'm really tired, like today, and then I hear that song and it's all peppy and it's me, I just want to be like, shh, shut up. <laughs> shut up, me. <laughs> song is a lie. <laughs> Can we take it down a notch <laughs> with the excitement? Uh, good morning, everyone. As you could probably tell from my voice, I'm I'm not recovered yet. Hopefully, I'm at the, just getting to the other side of it, and I'm... Get a little more energy as the day goes on, but my you will have to suffer with my plugged nose and my very manly voice. At least that's something yeah, I have to offer this you time. You are definitely approaching Barry. Barry Starting White to get status. like that, that radio voice kind of thing. Oh, a little bit, yeah, yeah, which works. Hello, and welcome to the Throga Channel. Today we have wow. myself, Richard Fink the Fourth, vocal coach, and Johnny Cummings songwriting coach we appreciate your attendance here in the united states in the philippines and anywhere you come from around the world on 102.7 jazz <laughs> i know it's like i needed a number to add to the end of it <laughs> uh so wonderful to see you all here from oh we got dubai and canada and germany oh i love seeing all of these people gather at one place mm -hmm. at one time to see amazing singers good morning mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Filipino Fridays, episode number three. We're still just at the beginning. We haven't even scratched the surface of mm -hmm. the, the, the talent to take on. So today, as you all know, we have TNT Boys. We have Sarah Geronimo. And someone I think I saw in the comments, She did she study under Regine? Or was it just like a, a they did some stuff together? Or there's like a label, something. Queen like Regine. Yeah, I'm. I'm just. I, I think I read that there is a relationship there. I'm curious what that is. Uh, and then also, we have B U D A H K E L. So this is, uh, bug, <laughs> bugoy, bugoy, hmm. Drillon. That's. I think that's how you say his name. Uh, Daryl Ong, and Michael. Uh, Pangolin, -nin 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 -nin. That's really it's good. The th <laughs> it's the three of them together created this band. So it's the three of them, and uh, and of course we couldn't help ourselves. Uh, the song we chose for for them today is "One Sweet Day" because it also includes Katrina. We're like, oh, let's ex let's kind of bring your Roper in from last week. So we're gonna do no "One Sweet Day" that. from them. Uh, Sarah G, we're gonna do Tala. And TNT boys, we're going to do flashlight. And of course, you all here are also going to assist with choosing our second song. And all of those songs have been, uh, I'll be put into a poll and you can vote on. So we're not taking any more requests. The requests come from your comments. Like today, when we tell you who we're going to do next week, you leave it in your comments. And then we, whatever the majority is, is what gets added to the poll the following week. Or we post something in the community board as well, just so you understand how that structure works. So it's uh, Budako. Am I seeing it right? I'm, I'm looking at the chat. Budako. I think that's oh. right. So I can see it too then? Look look at the chat. Pay attention to the people. I was, I was just that's gazing into your eyes. I, I, I couldn't. <laughs> they are why we are here. <laughs> well, and the music. But, you know, it's it's a joint thing. Okay. So I'm what I'm going to do... Before we jump into Flashlight from TNT Boys, I'm going to set up the poll for the second song. That way we get that rolling. Johnny, can you give a little entertainment music without causing a copyright issue? That would be great. Yes, well... Um, <laughs> you can't sing for too long or we get in trouble. <laughs> actually, what came to mind was when we were talking about inter intertwining some of the artists, I thought of Crossing the Streams, which reminds me of this movie.
Ghostbusters. Enough of that song. Yes. Enough of that. Universal shut us down. <laughs> I don't know if it's Universal or not. Second TNT boys. Oh, I can do a little Beatles song. How about that? Love the Beatles. Blackbird singing in the dead of night. Take these broken wings and learn to fly. All your life. Okay, stop singing. <laughs> I The joke is, so you all know, is we have a copyright issues on this channel, like every week. <laughs> Sometimes you have to throw things on, on Patreon. Um, some things just don't clear. We don't always know for what reason. Um, so if he sings for too long, not only do we have the songs reviewing, but then they recognize Johnny singing it as a cover, and then we have another because, copyright claim we have to deal with. Yes, because it's so spot on, Chris. It's, like, it's this, so spot on that yes. <laughs> she's like, you still get copyright strikes if you play it badly? <laughs> <laughs> That's a mood question. I don't know. Yes. So I just posted the poll. These are the songs for the second song for TNT's uh, Bang Bang and I Am Telling You, Together We Fly and Listen, were the ones that were most requested. So you guys can vote on that while we check out Flashlight, the most requested song. Oh, we have something to share with our guest as well. Giant yes, time. please. <laughs> Put please down the hit guitar. Like and subscribe. <laughs> this is the Johnny Show. Um, Please hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you always know what we are up to. And Next. also, please be sure to click on the the description. That's the, the link below. Yep, yeah. man, you're like a prize fighter in the twelfth round. It's just, <laughs> just, just give me a little bit of make it. Click on the description below where there are links available to you to buy us a coffee, help support and expand our page. You can become a silver, gold, or diamond throne member for extra perks and hang out with us. And also check out throwka.com where you can explore our online singing lessons called the Vocal Gym. If you are curious about the voice and would like to take it to the next level. All right. Yes, and speaking of, thank you to Amy for your, your for your coffee donation. Ami, A M M Y. I'm not sure, but thank you. I like to say the same name four different ways just to cover it, just to make sure one like the odds are one of them will be correct. True. True. Okay, so here we go. Flashlight. Now the only time we've seen TNT boys, I mean, we could tell that they were very talented, but. These poor kids were bombarded with Ariana Grande on stage. They couldn't even catch their breath, let alone sing at their best. Yeah. So this should be great. Yeah, awesome. I'm looking forward to it. All right, here we go. <laughs> TNT versions. Nice for Brado. When tomorrow comes, I'll be on my own. Feeling frightened of the things that I don't know. When tomorrow comes, tomorrow comes, tomorrow comes. And the Even the, uh, the vibrato at that age is so well developed and unusual and I right know. away. Sorry, I I've I, I have this feeling I'm going to want to stop this like a hundred times. I will do my best <laughs> to hear a big chunk of it before I stop it again. But it's like, ooh. Stay strong. Yeah. Okay, let me let me start again. Sorry. Okay. I'll behave. <laughs> TNT versions. When tomorrow comes, I'll be on my own. Feeling frightened of the things that I don't Tomorrow comes, tomorrow comes, tomorrow comes. And though the road is long, I look up to the sky. And then I take a fell, and so that I won't fly. And I sing along, I sing along, and I sing along. Wow. I get on my knee when I get to a die.
right, I'm going to pause it here. So there's a little audio uh, issue. You can hear that's clipping that rumble. So that's beyond my control, just so you know. That's just how the video itself is playing. But you can hear past that, and you can hear past the music, and you hear past the mix, and you can hear insanity in these young boys. I, how old are they here? Do you know offhand? I, I don't know. Uh, what are their ages? I see their names are coming in. Um, who is that? I saw Francis. Can, uh, left to right. Can you guys hook us up at who's who? Uh, mm -hmm. Left to right in, like, here, let me get a different screenshot. So left to right, what are their names? Their accuracy on the, the harmonies, timing of the vibrato, the way they're listening to each other at this such a young age. And we talk, the, the things I'm hearing are here are the things I would point out when we're listening to pentatonics. <laughs> it's like, it's a little right. mind blowing. Yeah. Um, obviously, you know, with years to, you know, the, of their voice still has to go and develop and nurture, it'll right. continue to refine. But all the fundamentals of what you expect with a quality singer at 25 is already emerging at the same yeah. They're 10? They, they're 10. Yeah, I was, I was thinking oh they're 10. That's, that's pretty awesome. I mean, you know, when, when you're that age, you're, you're basically, I mean, for, with anything you do, but definitely if you're a musician, you're kind of like a product of your influences. And it's like you of kind of try to mimic what you listen to. So it's like you can tell that they're into like the, the R&B soulful thing that saying that though that is that's a hard thing to do like to mimic it that well and that like vibrato you like you were saying like hitting the note and then just releasing the vibrato like kind of like yeah later and it, i mean they're and, they're mimicking obviously like you said what what their immediate influences are that's all that's yeah. how we learn it's how we learn to speak right and absolutely it'll they're our artistic uh i mean they'll blossom artistically in you know, in different ways as they age. So we're seeing uh, an update here. Um, are just saying they're 11, 12, and 13, which okay. makes a little more sense, but it's still, <laughs> it doesn't change our comments. <laughs> but he, that being said, you know, the, 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 the fact that there's, you know, um, you know, mimicking or trying to just mimicking, I guess let's just say mimicking. Yeah. <laughs> um, Emulate. They're heroes. That doesn't make it an easy thing to do. Like that's, mm -hmm. you know, to, to get it that spot on is really tough. And that I actually, do you know how that works when, you know, you kind of hit the note and then your vibrato just kicks in, do you know, the, like the mechanics of that. Oh, is this time for anatomical naked guy? Johnny may have just um, opened Pandora's box. Um, all right. Let me, it's not an anatomical naked guy. For this oh. because this is actually it's actually a really loaded question vibrato is actually a very controversial topic among different pedagogues uh different styles of of teaching because there's this there's this falsehood that uh vibrato is natural and the idea is to make it sound natural so mm -hmm. i look at it this way if it was a natural phenomenon to sustaining any sort of pitch you would hear it when speaking but i'm not speaking like this it's not, it, it, it doesn't have it as I'm talking to you. Well, I wish right? you would. <laughs> it would be amazing. And obviously, the longer you hold out the note, the more opportunity there is for the vibrato to exist. But it is not actually a natural thing. It's something you learn and play and mimic. When you do it well, when there's the feeling of like a float or a simplicity to it, it gives the illusion of it being natural, but really it's just a familiar behavior. And if you'll notice, it's done very differently among different singers. You've got like the classic Whitney Houston, you can see the jaw, and I, you can kind of like literally mm -hmm. see she's using the articulatory muscles to help, you know, create back pressure to kind of control the vibrato. A very typical way, which is the way I use it, is the swallowing muscles just above the larynx. Ah, you can kind of hear see my larynx kind of bounce there a little bit. Mm -hmm. Some do it more with the intrinsic muscles of the larynx inside the larynx where they're adjusting the uh, combination of the retinoid muscles with the vocalis uh, attached to the thyroid retinoid where the tensions are changing and that will flux the speed of the vibration. And th those tend to be related to the speed of the vibrato. So the larger the muscle, the slower the vibrato is gonna be. The smaller the muscle, the faster it can be. So you hear lots of different styles of vibrato. And I I come from the school of thought that there is no one correct way that's part of the artistry. I like hearing slightly different speeds or adjustable speeds among singers. 
but it's developed by default. So whatever it's kind of the brain likes the path of least resistance. I'm going to wrap it up. I swear. Um, with the, <laughs> I mean, we'd spend Close the next to. hour just like diving in on this nerd alert. Hmm. <laughs> Let's talk for Um, the, the path of least resistance is taken. In other words, whatever muscles are most available that aren't tense when singing at the age that you start developing vibrato are the ones more likely to influence how you use vibrato. I'm going to end it there because I can write a book on this and I'm not going to bore you all. <laughs> you did write a book on it. And, and I did bore you all, so success. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I answered your question. Let's get back to the voice. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, here we go. That's right. You're getting me, getting me through the night. Because you're my flashlight. Because you're my flashlight. Because you're my flashlight. Oh, I see the shadows long beneath the monitor. I'm not afraid when the rain won't stop. Because you like the This is originally an Ariana song, right? Isn't this like from her first album or something? I, is I it? I'm not sure, actually. I feel like it is. Uh, so, which yeah, makes Mackie sense with like the riff the... placement and everything going on, obviously. But So Mackie on the left is known for his runs. Francis is known as the belter and Kiefer is the whistle register. Kiefer can belt his butt off, too, I must yeah. say. Yes. In, in, in for, uh, what was it, Mackie? Was that the first? So also his Mackie, access yeah. to head voice at this this age is and this is tough right because puberty is like just on at this age they're just on the fringe of like chaos because as the as the hormones spike as you go through puberty the literal shape and size of the larynx changes the cartilage and in, in the bone and the, the hyoid bone and all the space and the muscle strength it just like does in the rest of your body so your brain has to constantly rewire itself and adapt to the new instrument like you're waking up every day with this with a different version of yourself from the ages mm -hmm. of like you know 12 to 17 or whatever so yeah. it's really tough at that age and what they're executing is is amazing how old are they now johnny how old are they why don't you tell me? <laughs> i don't know <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it, it's so well, impressive too. Like talk, talking about the sort of the the soulful R and B infused, uh, you know, nuances and, and inflections they have. I mean, and that that goes into just like, you know, like every single melody they do. It's got a little inflection. It's not just like singing like. It's like, you know, it's got like a bunch of different nuance in it. Yeah, and the fact that they can all do that at the same time. 
you know, they're, they're basically matching each other's inflections while they're doing these melodies. And it's so and cool that they hear that. And that'll continue to develop because oh, they're saying they're 17 to 19 now. So yeah, that'd be okay. Yeah. I'd love to hear more of an updated version of them at some point. Yeah, I, I bet they're ridiculous will. now. We probably won't today, but it'll, it'll be curious to see them maybe individually or collectively. I don't know. Yeah, if you're um, that good at 10, I mean, <laughs> it's like... Well, it, it just comes down to whether endless. you want to pursue it, right? Because if yeah. they continue to pursue it, obviously, they're just going to keep getting better. And even if there's a few years of a, like a rough patch as they're adapting to their updated instrument, you know, that's certainly understandable. But it's, yeah. it's tough to go through publicly, too. I mean, that could be really challenging because you feel limited. There's a lot of emotional challenges that comes with that sometimes. Yeah, I can only equate it to when... This past season, bowling season, I'm in a bowling league, and I got a new ball mid-season. It really took a long time to get adjusted to, and, you know, everybody's watching me, and a lot of pressure. If only you were wearing your big Lebowski shirt. <laughs> that would have <laughs> that would have been ridiculous. connected so much better. Um, okay, so next song up is going to be, thank you for answering our questions here, and when we don't read everything live we try to go back and, and continue to learn from you guys um mm -hmm. we're going to switch over to sarah we're going to watch tala that was the most requested and i'm putting up a poll right now for you guys to pick the second song from sarah but we sarah? will be <laughs> sarah friend i uh, you'd have to see a different episode for that to make any yep. sense um but from the lab listen side. listen one for a second song from tnt boys and just a quick reminder guys we're going to cycle artists back in. It's not like we're just going to see them one time and never again on Filipino Friday. So we'll continue to come back and, and check out these songs that we might not have gotten before. So no worries there. But right now. So, let's... yes, Vito, last week ended with 2,000 listeners. And we're we're trying to get up to 19 million. But, <laughs> but I feel like. That is our goal. <laughs> but I feel like 5K would be a nice step. Yeah, 20, I think we so should. we haven't broken 2,800 yet. 2,700 we broke on Wednesday. So 28's yeah. the new, mm -hmm. but also 19 million. But then after that, 19 million. <laughs> we can do it, everybody. <laughs> All right. Oh, my goodness. I forgot to read your response about Sarah and the relationship with Regine. Did you catch that, Johnny? What's that? You, I'm talking... Sorry, I was and playing. And it hurts to talk. Pay attention to every syllable that matters. <laughs> uh, no, the relationship between Sarah and Regine. R R Regine. 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 I can't find it in the chat. Can you please remind us? That yes. That would be wonderful. Okay, yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, she wanted Regine's talent show. Regine was was Jean one of the judges kind of thing. This is cool so far. Seeing so competition hosted by Regine. Okay, awesome. Thank you for that, Chris. She has a nice voice and everything, but this is definitely haven't heard it. <laughs> Dan's presentation more than anything else so far. So I don't have a lot to yeah. comment on, but right. obviously her stage performance and everything is is amazing. You guys are saying this is uh, this song was part of like some sort of TikTok craze as well. Oh, okay. Throga has a TikTok account, but Bridget's on that, not me. <laughs> she just tells me when I have a message, I have to answer. So I don't know what's going on in that world. On that account, do you do the little ten second dances? primarily that's what i like to demonstrate there yes yeah it's, it's the, that's not more successful the, the grandpa dances that's all i got to offer <laughs> 
Do you want me to go back so you can learn the moves? Yes, that's what I was, <laughs> I was hoping for. Uh, I'm actually having kind of a hard time hearing things. There's a lot of the quality of it's tough for me. Is it? It's a, it's uh, I'm hearing everything. I mean, it's a live mix. Yeah, it's just. But it's I'm like, hearing it. It's just. It just seems very muffled or something. Like the quality's not there for me. Hmm. I don't know if, if there's another version to look at. I can tell that she's very good. It's just clearly I'm not hearing the details. Oh, well, let's see if there's another. This is on a fan page. Maybe I grab the wrong one. Let's see what I can find. Awesome. I think that's the yeah. one we're watching live from Unified. Making each day of the year. See if this is better quality. Yeah. <laughs> No, that's like completely overdone. So they might, they might have had a hard time just like mixing that scenario. She's maybe, got a music yeah. video. Yeah, maybe maybe we can try that. I just want to get more of a clear representation of, of, her, of voice her voice and what's yeah. happening. So we're yeah. gonna we're gonna switch over. And Sorry, then buddy. I'm very difficult. I'm high maintenance. <laughs> You're so high maintenance. <laughs> so I'm known for. All right, let's do this, and then hopefully, it looks like Creep is winning the poll. Hopefully, there's a, a live version of that one. And if there is, let us know uh, where to go. Okay. And I didn't catch this in the live. This has, um, I mean, I would say like a Latin yeah. feel to it a little bit more. That I, I wasn't grabbing in the in the, the live version. Maybe it's just the mix, but even the sounds that they're using here. I mean, her tone is great. Her pitch is good. She got a couple of cool little runs there that were just a little, mm -hmm. like, just kind of with the echo and everything, a little crowded in in, in the live version. And I guess that the right will, will be will be able to hear even better. But right, yeah, it's cool. It's got almost like a, lat, a mixture of like a Latin feel with a little like for you know apologies for the blunt assessment but like a little middle eastern kind of like tonality to it too to the music yeah well and all of that's always exciting for us too because like anything foreign is interesting you know because we have a lot yeah. of the stock sounds the same instruments over and over again so yeah. like when they they mix you know cultural um instruments uh historically cultural instruments into the same piece is always a, a cool mix yeah totally I, I don't have any comment on, on the dancing because it's good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> it's just, not really our, our area of expertise. It's definitely but. not our area of expertise. So our poly, I mean, I can't do it, but my standard for for what I can and can't do is sets the bar is so low. <laughs> I, can, I can only give so much yeah. critique. What a great overall entertainer too. I mean, just oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she yeah. and she brought this the music video. Like her energy on stage was fantastic, which is even obviously expanded upon what you can capture in a video. Mm-hmm. 
Side note, I don't hear any Antares. I don't hear auto-tune on her voice. I mean, she might have done like a composite as most singers do. Like you take the best moments of something, but it's like the voice feels very undisturbed digitally, which which undisturbed is great. Undisturbed digitally. I like and, that, and that's, yes. And for dance music, you know, it's sometimes it's it's common to just go a little overboard. I don't think this, is, I think it's just the nature of the Philippines that you just don't need it. Do they even have that software in the Philippines? <laughs> <laughs> they just they banned it because it just ruins everything. It's just unnecessary. Yeah, yeah no, it's it's nice because everything gets so mechanical sounding. Yeah, no, I like the organic uh, yeah. tone that she's using here. <laughs> Richard coming out. I don't like spam. Sp I'm anti-spam, Sam. I am. Uh -oh. If you have something to say, we appreciate. It. We want to hear everybody's thoughts. When you copy paste the same thing over and over again, it will be ignored and eventually banned. That is my message for the day. We appreciate your passion about your ideas, but we want to hear everybody's thoughts coming in, and that crowds everybody else. So please be respectful to each other. Thank you. Before I get in trouble. Oh, sorry. Sarah Geronimo, I hope you loved my latest music video. For more, subscribe, follow, and like Viva Records. Thank you. Ah, oh, so cute. Nice. I, I love... Obviously, it, Go ahead. Apparently, please. you know, it's apparent that this is more of like a, like a dance song. It's less like vocal heavy. But right. you can tell that she can sing her butt off. For sure. And then when she brought in the layers towards the end, the music kind of... I mean, because just to make it interesting, when you have a, a hook that repeats over and over again, you're looking for layers. Sometimes it's musical layers. Sometimes it's mm -hmm. vocal layers. So then she brought in more of like the head voice. She brought in a little more like that, just that touch of that breathy sound mixed in with the chest underneath. So the layers like kind of just expanded the whole feeling that was there. And we can start yeah. to hear the different flavors she has to offer. So I'm excited to come back. <clears throat> yes. Um, 
to to hear another song. So it looks like Creep is the winner. Fantastic. Remember, two songs today for each singer, but we'll come back to these singers. So Mm -hmm. no stress on that. All right. Next up is One Sweet Day with four singers. Uh, Again, we have uh, Bogoy, Daryl, and Michael. And I guess this song is uh, featuring Katrina as well. And I'm just going to set up the next poll. Johnny, can you do a little entertainment for us, please? Yeah, somebody wanted actually uh, Here, There, and Everywhere by the Beatles. Here, making it day of the year. Changing my life with a wave of a hand. Nobody can deny that there's something there. There's that. Oh, we got a little James Taylor. Yesterday morning, you let me know you were gone. Suzanne, the plans they made put an end to you. I have another nickname for you, Johnny. What? Jukebox Johnny. I've seen fire and I've seen... <laughs> we got That's not bad. P. Daddy. Uh, Worldwide Handsome Part 2 and Jukebox Johnny. <laughs> I've seen lonely times when I could not find a friend. But I always thought that I'd see you again. Okay, so here is the new poll. <laughs> We have, thank God I found you, I'm your angel, hard to say goodbye to yesterday, and Kung Malbalakole. Jukebox Johnny. (laughs) Okay, so you guys can jump on that one, but in the meantime, let's check out One Sweet Day. Now, we've heard, who did we hear before? Obviously Katrina. Um, Michael um, Peng, Peng Linen, if I'm saying the name right, from the Wish Boss exclusives that we did. And we heard a little bit of Daryl uh, as well in a duet last week. Do I have that right? But I don't think we've heard Bogoy uh, Drillon, if I'm saying the name right, hmm. yet. So let's find out. Yes. And real quick, thank you to Chris and Anatomical Naked Man, a.k.a art <laughs> for your coffee donations and for your continuous entertainment art is a work of art for sure <laughs> here we go Told you Throw it back and All I wanted to say Oh slick now it's Man. too late to hold you Cause you've flown away so far away are already setting in. I know. Without your smile. And now when you hear me, it keeps me alive. Alive. And I know you're shining down on me from a was this Mariah and Boys to Men? That that's what's Yeah. Do I have that right? Wow. You do. That's look the... at you. You're so hip. I almost looked it up, like to like side look it up to, to get the right information. I didn't want to be wrong, but um this song 
the fact that I remember it says something about just how brilliantly it was crafted and executed just from, from the original version, obviously. Yeah, all those yeah. boys to men arrangements back then were so good. So good. And they were they were great. Yeah, I think too. them and Take Six, they, they were just, I think they really stood out among the Take Six? <laughs> yeah. You don't know Who's that? Take Six? No. There's did I make that up? Is, Maybe. Is, is that an imaginary band? Come on, guys. Take six. That's a band, right? I just remember there was like amazing layers. Anybody? I believe it. I'll take your word for it. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> but yeah, what I mean, what a uh, giants to take on, and they're killing it. That, that, yes. I mean, at least the first two singers, the solo singers, are just man butter, just butter tones, butter tones. But <laughs> I'm I'm gonna go with that. Yes. Yeah. It's just it's just such yeah. <laughs> I can't beat take five. But I can't beat butter tones. That's the problem. I, there's no other adjective to beat butter, butter tones. tones. So we're going to go with that. <laughs> yeah, right. take six is an acapella group. All right. Okay, okay. All right. You got my back. Thank you, yep. Latte Lover. know they're pros at this level when they can ah i mean there, there's so much going on there there's I mean, so much there's two different melodies but they're, they're doing it so well and i mean the melodies are just perfect that it's not they're not i would have like, actually loved to, to to hear this acapella like they could have just supported the whole thing i think i obviously the, the rhythmic elements and other things kind of add to it but i would love to hear just the four of them just yeah. do their thing outside of having the other instrumentation Mm -hmm. But the counter melodies and the way they're listening to each other, like those three guys, when they, the way they're harmonizing and move in terms of vowel shape and volume, you can't even tell them apart. It's like one single instrument just playing chords together. It's yeah. just so they're well locked crafted. In. They're locked in, yeah. Wow. <laughs>
What the hell was that? That's a <laughs> what happened? That's amazing. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Oh Please don't God. forget to subscribe to our YouTube channels. My name is Dyer Long Official. And sa akin po, Michael Pangilinan Official. Katrina Velarde. Yep. Please follow the leader. Follow me, Pogoy <laughs> Delon. Yes, thank you, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. God, I have so much to say. It. I don't know. I just, but I can't say anything at the same time. <laughs> See, Johnny, um, what were all those runs? I'd like to play them back for you. Well, okay. <laughs> That's the first thing I'd like to address. So, listen, just coming up with those runs, like writing or whatever, or, or just like creating those runs in and of itself is individually really difficult. Just yeah, each one. Just coming up with the parts. To execute them as perfectly as they did on top of just coming up with them is unbelievable. And, and the speed. <laughs> I, I mean, it's just... It's just like when, you, when you're doing a riff like with your fingers, it's like you got, you've got five or ten, right? So it's like you can overlap. I have twelve, but... We, yeah, <laughs> anyway. It's disturbing, and yet I want to see that. <laughs> <laughs> this is but my left the, hand. <laughs> with the... <laughs> <laughs> with the voice there are no keys there's no frets so to accurately go from this pitch to this pitch to this pitch to this pitch or you know whatever the the, the combination is to stop for a fraction of a second at precisely that speed of vibration and onto the next one that quick and like you said and then the intricacies of it being different every time it's not just by the way, that's my greatest riff I think I've ever achieved when I recorded because I'm, I have no R&B influence. Right. But it's just like, so I mastered the half step, whole step, and maybe down a third, right? right. Or a fourth in this case. So it's like, that's it. So yeah. they're doing so many overlapping parts that's just so specific and so accurate. They're not falling off. The, you know, like some guitarists will... Like Vernon Reed would do this all the time, you know, living color. It's just like he's riffing, but then he just plays outside of the key and it's like it's dangerous and chaotic and cool, but it's also a little sloppy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just like that kind of thing. And, but they're doing intricate things with their voice and none of it's sloppy. It's just. It's so, so precise. Clean. Yeah. And like going with what oh. you're saying, everybody's sort of, you know, whether you're a piano player, vocalist, guitarist. You know, people have their bag of tricks that they draw from as far right. as like riffs and stuff. I, you know, I'm not saying they don't have a bag. It's just their bag is like this big and they just can take, draw so many things whenever they want. Um, also, so this is, this was basically live. This is all one take, right? I'm I guessing. Say. I mean, they, they okay. could have pre-recorded and synced it live, but I mean, we've heard Katrina. Well, no, we've heard all of them except um, the one sing live and they were that good. So I don't see any reason it couldn't have been. <laughs> yeah. So, but I mean, they're doing a replica of a studio recording. They're, they're perfectly, right. you know, like replicating it, like the studio recording, but they're all, which is hard enough as it is because they did that in the studio. They did that in pieces. And they're doing it all live and they're adding even more on top of it. So there's all this stuff going on and it's like everybody's just firing at all cylinders. And I mean, they're all just like top notch and they're perfect. <laughs> also, the individual tones are so fantastic that as we've heard, for them to make minor adjustments to actually work together, so that doesn't always work. So a lot of lead singers don't have the skill set that a backup singer does where they can mm -hmm. adapt and adjust and support to others. You know, sometimes it's like all lead or all backup. Backup sure. singers generally have more technical skill, their ability to kind of work on the fly to support a lead, but they might not yeah. have the tone or the, the stage presence, etc. The versatility of those singers to work independently and collectively is just that was, wonderful. That was astounding. That was that was a hell of a performance. <laughs> Dang. Okay, so I'm going to close the poll on that one. Thank God I found you is next. Or not next, but when, when we circle back to them. So we've got three more songs. We're halfway through the show. Mm -hmm. And this is... We're going back to TNT, boys. I don't, it's Filipino Fridays is fun, but I have to, like... My brain has to, like, just... You know what I mean? You have to, like, go... You can't, like, build off of what you just heard. You have to, like, rotate yeah. a little bit. But it's good. Yes. Keeps you on my toes. Uh, this is well, Listen sick. 
at the world's best stage here. Um, we are not taking any more requests. The We have selected our songs, so we're set for the day, but we're going to come back to do more songs from them. So um, oh, hold on. So we have Listen. What are we doing from Sarah? Creep, right? That was the... I love this song, Creep. Uh, is it I'm a creep? I, I mean, I'm a weirdo. or is it, or is it, hold on. Um, what? So I creep. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was trying to think of the, we don't know. We. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> is, is, that uh, is that TLC? It is TLC. Yeah, I wanted to so say Waterfalls, but you don't go yeah. to TLC Waterfalls. And they've got the wow, shoot, wow, shoot wow. All right. And then thank God I found you. Okay, so we have those three songs coming up. Shoop, -doop, shoop is salt and pepper. But anyway, I digress. I would take offense for, to, to, you know, for you to correct me publicly, uh, except I don't know anything from those bands or their names other <laughs> well, than, well, hold on, TLC's uh, Left Eye, who passed, unfortunately, but so I know her name. That That is T-Boz and Chili. Wow. Go Johnny. I'm, <laughs> I'm guessing that's not the version we're going to listen to today, but anyway, here we go. Listen from TNT Voice. We're over 2,000 people. I'm Welcome, Jason, everybody. I'm Maki, awesome. And I'm Prince, and we are the TNT Boys. We met in a local singing competition yeah. in the Philippines. We sing together, and it became viral. Everywhere we go in the Philippines, everybody can recognize us. But in this stage of the world best, it's a next level. I want to be surrounded by that accent one day. I know. <laughs> I know. We have to visit. Yeah, Drew. Yeah. You get edge on that too. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, uh, I'll, I'll I'll continue to play so we learn a little more about them. But go on, go on. Okay. Wh when was this? How, how this was after the the previous video, correct? Yeah, I'm a thinking. Little, little bit older. I can't. I don't think they're that much. It older. doesn't matter. Yeah, even if it's a year or two older. But I, even that year or less, it's like you can you can hear the development even from that first video to to that that performance it was yes. just a little bit tighter um which that's what you just know that's what was going to happen when you got 10 year old 10 11 year olds or whatever with that ability it's like they're only going to keep improving at an right. accelerated rate right and, and i don't know what the circumstance was here but i agree i think they're clearly have learned to listen to each other like we were just talking about with yeah the, you know the group boo budaco budaco i keep I, I'm going to continue to say it weirdly. Um, yeah, I mean, it takes time to, like, think beyond your own voice. Like, at first, like, yeah. as a singer, when you first learn how to sing, it's a, what are the words, what are the notes, when do I start? You know, it's just, like, really right. basic things you want to check off in your brain. 
And so, and then eventually as you trust that and you develop those skills, you start to open your musical ears and respond and interact with those around you. And you can hear that taking place here so yeah. young. Yeah, and I'm not trying to be negative about the first performance because the first performance was no, of course great. Not. And you just got to take into context. It's like they're 10 still. So it's like there's, you know, it's not or 11, like 12, 13. Yeah, completely formed yet. But you can, oh, my God, you can just hear like within a couple of years time or whatever. I think they're saying, yeah, they're a couple of years older here. But wow. yeah, there's just they just tightened up just a little bit more. And I don't and that and they still and they're 19 now, right? So I can't even imagine. Seventeen to now. nineteen, I think they said. Yeah. yeah. Budakal. So it's D U H. I'm saying duh. Budakal. 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 I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We're hopeless. We're sorry, people. We are Shameful. hopeless. Oh my goodness! All right, let's. Uh... I want to hear the personalities a little bit. I felt as it I was Buda. watching it. Budakal. Okay. What about adding a forty-year-old chubby British guy? <laughs> we can, we can. Just give me a chance. Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. That's it. We quit. We're going on the road. We'll see you next time, guys. Good night. <laughs> I think we know what the whole room felt, but let's go to our American judges. What did we think of these boys? Okay. First of all, you have some serious attitude. Yeah, thank you. I mean, you're so precious and so sweet, but when you were singing and you were in that song, you were like, bam. Yeah, yeah. It just eats you yeah the stage presence was definitely his growing, too. True, what did you think? You know, I have a soft spot for kids. I True. was a kid performer, but I have kids now. This is a whole other thing. Yeah. yeah. Hey, thank you. You possess a gift. You're just... That good. Yes. Thank you. Well, what did we think? Thank you. Boys, I have one thing to say. RuPaul? Shantae, you stay. Yeah. I'm guessing. <laughs> Dennis from Germany. Dennis, you've actually worked with Beyonce. What do you think she would think of that performance? Oh so, God. I was actually... Oh <laughs> <laughs> so I actually wouldn't be surprised if she would call you up after this and be like, join me on the next tour. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> I love these kids. All oh, right. it's great. It's the moment of truth. Judges, let's lock in your scores right now. I don't know if we need to watch this whole thing. I'm assuming they won. They did great. To move forward. All right, now it's all up to our international show. judges. Ah, uh, they're so good. <laughs> the, I mean, just individually, what they're doing at that age is kind of like the, just this, the, the cut above, and then, like I said, their ability to listen to each other and learn from there. When we're obviously going to return to these young men uh, at mm -hmm. some point, I would love to hear. Are they still singing together now? As TNT boys or have they branched off independently because I'm, I'm because this is for a show uh fill us in I, I definitely they didn't win but regardless because there's always that's a whole nother topic of uh what uh what qualifies winning on these shows but if they're still together I definitely want to hear an updated older like a like a current yeah. current version like we want to circle back to them totally i'm so curious yeah i mean they have to be f just phenomenal they're just incredible today. okay so moving forward thank you guys for that uh sarah geronimo the second song that was selected was creep let me find that Ugh. I love this song too. I love Radiohead. Well, thank you, Augustus, very much for the super thanks. We greatly appreciate that. Yeah, and also thanks, Jeremy and Ronald, for your coffees. Helps us in these early morning sessions. When you're here before, can look you in the eyes. You're just like an angel. 
skin makes me cry You flow like a feather I love this song In a beautiful world Did we ever cover this? I know you have I mean, you've sung it I have, many yeah times. I, I don't special. think we ever did together when we were on stage Yeah Anatomical naked guy, make buckets of coffee. We think you are special. <laughs> All right, here we go. I believe I have the right one. Let's check it out. You were here before. Couldn't look you in. You look like an angel Your skin makes me cry You float like Okay, so I'm going to pause. So I am... Two things. First of all, I love the way she's setting the mood here immediately. Just, Just so captivating. Secondly, I do see you in the chat and you guys are saying... Uh, we have several people saying it's a mix between whether we have the right one or not. Mm. Off cam, please. All right, let's see. The off camera one? I don't know what that means. This one? Is this one better? Da -da 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 -da. Yes, please stop spamming. Um, so just say it once, so that way we have an opportunity to see what everybody wants, not just what one person wants. This song that I'm playing is the Incredible Hulk theme, which means don't make Richard mad, because you wouldn't <laughs> like him when he's mad. I've already banned one person this morning. I'm not afraid to do it again. Not because I don't love you or that I don't care about your opinion, but I care about everybody's opinion. I don't think I've ever seen you mad mad. You have annoyed, yeah. like, you, the okay. You also haven't seen me crying yet. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and you have many Richard. times since the channel has become. It's the new Richard. <laughs> All right, oh, I know how to put an end to this. Here you go. We'll make it really easy. First one, uh, which Flurry. which version? This way, I'm not stuck hearing one person's opinion, but you guys pick. First version? Question mark or off cam version? I will not take responsibility in which one is to be decided. So we'll find out real quick. We're holding at 96%, 94. See, this is why we don't spam. When it's one person <laughs> saying a hundred times, I get confused as to what everybody wants. Very clearly, we're going with the first Please don't version. spam. Please don't spam. Ooh, yes, we need that song. <laughs> the please don't spam song. All right, I'm ending the poll. You guys jumped in quick. Thank you. All right, back to the first version. By the way, right. if you prefer the other version, cool, go watch that one. When you <laughs> and we might watch it again in the future as well. All right, here we go. Before. I like the bend of the vowel, too, is cool. Couldn't look you in the eye. You look like an angel. Your skin mm. makes me cry. Oh, that was cool too. Nice choice you there. You float like a feather. The, I like the play with the vowel too. In the me beautiful too. world, you're so very special. I wish I. But I'm a creep I'm a weirdo mm. 
Before she goes into the next verse, there are so many cool. cool choices taking place. Well, you go always go on about making it your own, and she is making it. Yeah, <laughs> like I said, you always blab on and on and on about <laughs> making your own. Oh my god, <laughs> he's gonna do it again. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, it's it's great. She's she's definitely like ha- taking her artistic direction with it. It's great. Yeah, and just the pacing. There's just like where the pauses are, a couple little note changes. I mean, you recognize the melody right away, which is great. But it's the the choices of where there's like just this little extra pause, where she's catching her breath, the facial expressions. I would have even known this is the same singer from Tala. Yeah, I, just, right. I mean, just vocally, like we're really hearing her vocal quality mm-hmm. in this one. And apparently you're saying, um, I'm seeing a little bit that she was uh, sick as well, which as we've seen on this channel, that's usually when people are at their, their best. They push a little bit more. They, they somehow pull things magically together that just like does this crazy, crazy cool thing. Um, I'm loving the vibe overall taking place here. Yeah. we back it up a little bit. I don't care that it hurts. I want to have control mm. I want a perfect body <laughs> They're like, you have one no, I'm just kidding <laughs> I want a perfect soul oh. I want you to notice Great I've never heard that combination before. No. 
Did she go back to creep here? Usage of space. What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here. I don't belong here. Her acting How... in this was amazing. Yeah. How different is that vibe from the first? Yes, like dance. You're like, oh, she definitely can sing, but it's primarily dance. And then it's like this is the, the first one was a little, you know, more like the the pop, like this is a pop star, you know, yeah. dance song. And she kills. This it. is like this is like Tori Amos type thing. It's like so much. It's like just way more of an artistic. It's storytelling. Thing. Yes, yeah. storytelling. No, when she, she so she, she went to the like that the high part and creep, you know, those higher notes. It wasn't like a belt tone or anything that. So it didn't have like like a, a power like, you know maybe what we would hear from like Maury Katrina or something like that. It was different choices, right? Not not good or bad. I'm not comparing in the sense of what is what is right or wrong. But her choice there, rather than a belt, it was a push on head voice, and then had this like, just the way she manipulated the vowel shapes and where her vibrato gave it like this cry, this plea almost that just like mm -hmm. kind of pulled a different version of, of empathy. Um, from the song, it, or at least for me as a listener, it's really interesting choices throughout the whole thing. Um, she's yeah. an artist. She's an artist. Now, now especially hearing those two back to back, so yeah. cool. As the, not, not to take anything away from being a pop star, but I mean, because that's obviously a great skill in and of itself. And you, get, you, I mean, it takes a lot to be able to do that. But I mean, what's more, that it's performance taste. is a little more enticing to me. Yeah, yeah, and it's not a right or wrong or anything like that. Yeah. All right, so we have one more song. Just a quick reminder to those of you who may just be coming in, check the pinned comment at the top. Uh, we are not taking requests. We have our last song right now. We will, of course, be coming back for Filipino Fridays for more artists and more songs, and we're going to repeat a lot of the same artists over time as well. Uh, so right now we are coming back to Budakul. Did I say it right this time? I think Budakul. I said it. Yep. Um, and... Thank God I Found You is the name of the song. Oh, I feel the same way, buddy. <laughs> no, nothing. What? Huh? You said, thank God I found you. Oh, I thought you were talking to the like... chat. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, it's nice to hear in my life, too. It, it works out well. <laughs> Can someone stop <laughs> Do I have the right one, guys? Budical. I think I said it right. Yay. Okay. Anybody know that song? What's well, like kind of like beautiful? I don't know that song. I think. What is that? It's Radiohead. See, okay. See who gets it out there in the chat. Well, you just gave it away. Well, it still kind of gets the name of the song. <laughs> okay, so we're going to play the last song. This is Thank God I Found You. And this is... Oh, Katrina's in this one, too. All right, sweet. I didn't even know. Awesome. So I have an idea for next... I saw somebody ask for Reaction Wednesday. So next week, Reaction Wednesday is Laura Fabian. We have Broken Vows out tomorrow. And then we're going to do a uh, deep dive into her work next Wednesday. And for next, da, 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 for next Filipino Friday, I'm thinking we do each of these three singers in Budokal. So we do two songs each, like the in, independent pieces from uh, Bogoy, if I'm saying his right name, I'm still not sure, uh, Daryl and Michael. That way, because we're seeing them as collective, this way we can kind of see them really sprout independently. Um, so in the comments, not in the chat, but after this live is done, in the comments, please list which songs you're interested in from those three artists, and we can feature them next 
uh, Filipino Friday. And of course, we'll continue with other artists as well. Okay. Awesome. That'd be super fun. All right. Here we go. Let's check this out. Oops. My, th my thing and my bobber moved. Here it is. <laughs> subside I felt like dying until you saved my life This is 98 degrees in Mariah Carey. This is what I'm seeing. This is what I see it listed oh. under. I don't know. So Mariah um, Carey, Joe, 98 degrees. I think so. It's a cover of that. I, I don't know how different this is from the original. I've never is. heard the song actually. Yeah, I'm not familiar with it. Is this? Did they modify it in their own way? I mean, I'm assuming they have like at least little things, but I don't know if it's significant or not. God, is this is this live? I mean, even if it's a recording, it's impressive. They sound amazing. But if this is live, which I think it is, They're so this is ridiculous. It's like, it's so good. As you were saying earlier, it feels like it's one instrument. It's like you're yeah. playing a chord on the piano. It's like it's that same collaborative tone. And then when they break out on their own, it's like, oh, and then there's that voice. And then there's, it's like they, oh, it's The blend incredible. of tones is, oh my God. Yes. They're all just right on. And and just to clarify something I saw in the chat too, um, I am asking for song ideas to be added to the poll for next week. So the poll will be next week, but in not, not here in the chat, but once this once we're done today in the comments section, that's where we're going to look. And so just kind of come back to that and leave your comments as to which songs you'd like from the three individual artists. And we'll include the most popular ones in the poll for next week. That's how we're structuring it. Okay, back to the song. It's recorded. Okay. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, if you look at proximity of the microphone, yeah, and just yeah, yeah, yeah. Else, it's, it's obvious that this was like a music video version of it. Okay. But we've heard them sing live independently. Was the first one recorded too? Probably. Okay. But but. Even so, it, it doesn't. It kind of doesn't matter with these. I, like I, I know it doesn't, because it's just so insanely tight. But yeah. I think the first one, the first one might not have been though. Okay. Yeah, they just reshot so this, but they still recorded it live. Is my guess. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I like the huskiness there. Yeah. Me warm each and every night, I'll be alright. Cause I need you in my life. Ooh. Oh, I like him. That whole section, even Katrina gets she's modifying her tone to be part of like that one unit she's not jumping out it's like oh there's the female voice yeah it's like she's adjusting too on those lower notes 
Their blend is perfection. They, they, they go so well together. a 60 piece choir in some of these parts it's just crazy the way because they have like the, the a, such a full sound individually that when they break apart in in the notes they're not just like you know unison it's just like spans out it's just spectrum of, of how it's come, like a choir how come nobody told us about this band I'm just, I'm just kidding <laughs> yeah. I don't want to set up the president to start spamming more I'm sure they did a bunch of times it's crazy how we discovered these guys, and you're all just catching on now. <laughs> oh, man, it's like, God, that's just, amazing. They're so good. It's like, it's just crazy that we're just finding them now, today. <laughs> oh, man. Half our lives are over, Richard, and we just are, <laughs> we're just finding. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, life go. just keeps getting better in that respect, you know? It's all good. <laughs> it does. Wow. They're late than never, I say. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, this is just fun, the way they did this entire thing, too. Uh, and they were saying, so this was recorded in one take, and then obviously they reshot it for, you know, okay. for, to make a music video, but it was, it was apparently recorded in one take, and then, um, yeah, and, and then just reshot for, for the video. Johnny, don't ask for it. <laughs> 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 Incredible. I I don't even know what I need more words to describe. Hold on, I'm gonna check up the source.com. Yeah, the, the right word to express yourself, Chatty. In the meantime, I'm going to take this moment to thank you for the super chats and the coffees that come in. We greatly appreciate that. Help support our page and keep coming back for shows like this. Um and again, you know, leave your suggestions for next week for Bogoy, Daryl, and Michael, for Bogoy, I'm sorry, am I saying his name right? I'm probably not. For him, the textures that I'm hearing, does he sing anything more rock-orientated that's more like my personal taste? Just curious if you have any suggestions for that. 
Yes, Johnny. Okay, what I got. Come up with? I got a good one. What do you uh, got? <laughs> a little little nod to Princess Bride. That was inconceivable. Inconceivable. <laughs> 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 oh, we're oh. dorks. We're nerds. Oh, that was amazing. Everyone, thank you so much. 2,300 people for joining us today. Thank you for being here and sharing these moments with us and these incredible artists and these songs and these voices. Uh, hopefully yes. making everybody's day a little bit better. That's why. That's what we're looking for here. So enjoy thank the you. weekend. Tomorrow, yes. Lar Fabian Broken Vow. Next week, we have Dimashathon on Monday. Three hours uh, checking out the ultimate guide of a Dimash. And then we have uh, Ado, Ado, Ado. And then we have Lar Fabian again for Reaction Wednesday. Then we have Ginger, a second reaction to that one. And then Filipino Friday. So we got a nice full week coming up. Enjoy your weekend. We love yes. you all. Take and care. Really Real quick, thanks to Mache and Latte Lover for your coffees, and thank you all to your support. We yes. appreciate it more than you know. So thank have you. Have a great day, guys. Thank you. Bye, guys. I can't fake the love you made. You are my missing pieces. Yeah.